Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Quantum Joystick PCP kit so that you can use it in your next project. This joystick kit is essentially a two joystick and button assembly that enables you to control various servos and motors with the Quantum system. Before we start, you can find all related information about the joystick, such as application and firmware files, bill of materials, diagrams, and schematics on our documentation page, which you can find in the description below. Before we assemble the PCB, make sure to download the bill of materials. This has all of the parts required to complete this project. The BOM is especially important because it contains the component reference, which tells you where to place each part on the PCB. For example, if you have a resistor labeled R1 in the BOM, place it where it says R1 on the PCB. Once you have all the parts, you can solder them to your board. Once you have finished soldering together the joystick controller, you can connect it to the builder base. To do so, follow the schematic and the fritzing from the documentation page and connect the terminals from the 2x5 header on the back of the joystick to the builder base accordingly. Looking at the schematic, you can see that the first four pins on the left side of the 2x5 header are connected to ports GP0 to GP3 on the builder base. The last port is connected to ground. On the right side of the header, ports GP4 to GP6 are connected, and the last port is connected to 3.3 volts. Once you do this, plug in a 9 volt battery to the barrel jack, or power on your builder base, and then turn on the joystick controller. If the board is assembled correctly, the LED will illuminate. Now you are ready to upload the joystick firmware to the builder base. First. Download the firmware file from the documentation page and import it into the firmware builder on your server. To import the file, go to the firmware builder on your server and click the button that says import. Next, click copy from file and select the joystick firmware.json file that you downloaded. Lastly, save your firmware and upload it to the builder base that you've connected the joystick to. To do this, click on the Actions button next to the firmware file, click Upload, select the builder base you want, and then click Upload again. The Joystick app is a simple app that allows you to verify that your joystick is set up and running properly. First, download the app from the documentation page. Next. Navigate to the app loader page on your server, click import, then click copy from file and select the joystick app.json file that you downloaded. Now, click the play button next to the application name, which will open the application mapper. Once this is done, hit the save plus run button. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to build the joystick controller on a breadboard, as well as the firmware and application, see our project video, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.